Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Farming Simulator 22. This is our whiskey life, or lack thereof, so far. But as you can see, we are already in April. I fast forwarded it. Uh, I really didn't fast forward, but I played through the winter time, I guess you could say. And, um... Yeah, a lot of things happened. Uh, we went ahead, and instead of planting corn, I went ahead and uh, bit the bullet and planted cotton. So, uh, we had to lease a planter that does cotton because we have a cedar, and it only does the grains and grass and stuff like that. So it doesn't do anything like a root crop, which would be corn, uh, sugar beets, and cotton and stuff like that. So, uh, I also... I think we're completely filled. Uh, you can see the the field right there. It's got all cotton planted. Now, I tried to lease the field back in the back. Uh, the leasing thing does not work on this game whatsoever. So we can't lease, so we have to buy, which sucks. Um, but the good thing is we're maxed out on sheep. So the sheep reproduced over the winter time. We're up to 150 sheep. I think we we literally only bought like 80 sheep total so we doubled our sheep and they're producing about this much wool every night so we can go ahead and load up the, all this wool and take it oh, i am stopped my man we can take it let me go grab this other one over here to our factory that we bought and also over at the factory we have there we go uh, let me make sure that the animals are okay. Yeah, they're okay. So we're up to 150 sheep. You can see some of these are worth $525, 550 Now, if you remember, we only, we spent 480 All right, here's the babies right here. So if we can get these up to like $550 a piece or more, and we realize that we get more. Oh, by the way, you can see I mowed the field. And we also bought the rear part of the mower. So it automatically swaths. This is the one I told you guys about and showed you it's got these belts on it that is an extra 20 grand <laughs> for this machine just to put these belts on there but it does do this for you so you don't need like a windrower or anything and so we're going to come and get that grass i am down to those last little little bits of grass right there but the sheep don't really require that much food which is awesome and so we're going to take this wool this is what six thousand liters over to our linen shop let it create some linens uh, i want to see how much linens are actually going for because we do have some pallets available so the fabric is now up to uh 5700 so let's mark this one whoops back uh let's do that again show current prices there we go uh hats and more sell point tag it all right that's where we're going to take it i don't see it must be in the oh it's right there um, so we'll pick up the stuff that we've made and we'll sell it there. I think there's four pallets, so that's going to be, you know, close to twenty two, twenty three thousand dollars, which is good because I'm uh, I'm down to ten, <laughs> I'm down to ten thousand dollars, and we still have to lease the gigantic cotton harvester. And I'm pretty sure that thing's going to be at least ten to twelve thousand because it's a half a million dollar piece of machinery. Um, but what I was getting to was about the sheep. If we find that we get, uh, let's say right here, I have 6,000 liters of wool, right, from sheep per day. If we take that times eight, so that'd be like 50, 48,000, but 50,000 liters of wool, because uh, cotton takes eight days to grow from the time you plant it. So in eight days, with a full pen of sheep, at least my 150 one, I'm getting about six, or, or not in eight days, but in a single day, I get about six pallets of wool, which is a thousand or six thousand. So that's 48,000. If we get more than that in that field, let's say we get 60,000, then I would probably go ahead and sell all the sheep. Because let's say we have 150 sheep and we sell them for 600 bucks a piece. That's $80,000 in sheep plus the land, right? And um, so we'll make money that way because we won't need the sheep. We'll just invest in cotton. Um, and I think that'd be a, a smarter play. And then I can... Oh, actually, how many do we have? We have four. Sweet. All right, let's pick these up. So here's our linens. Let's pick these up. Let's back up. And then there's one... Oh, there's actually more than that. Oh, sweet. Does that mean we get six? 
Is there more in there? Uh, let's see. No, it's storing. Okay, so it's just now making them. All right. Man, that's a lot more than what I thought. Well, that's cool. So uh, let's take this over. Where is it at? Down the street. Oh, crap. So we'll sell this. But uh, if we don't get enough cotton off that, just that one field. I'm just talking about that one field. If we don't get enough cotton, then my plan is to put another sheep stable on that property and just do sheep for a little bit. And then uh, if we start generating some good income, we'll expand from there. Hopefully that'll works out. I don't know. I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to do it most, not, I want to say the most efficient way, but I'm trying to do it uh, a way that makes sense. Hats and more. That's funny. <laughs> All right, let's see how much we make off of this stuff. Well, that's a good income. I'm not going to lie. So we made $34,000. Nice. All right. So that's enough to get us lease, uh, to lease that tractor because it's going to cost us. Let's park right here real quick. It's going to cost us. Let's go in here. Uh, cotton technology and right here. And it's going to cost us. I mean, we could get this one, but I'll probably get this one. It's going to lease it with the $24,000. Oh my God. And that's the other thing. Are we even going to make money? doing it that way if i lease this one twenty four thousand. see i'm leasing something for twenty four thousand dollars i don't even know if i'll make the twenty four thousand dollars back that's that's the difficult thing about playing it on hard mode because i feel like everything we do we just kind of it's a really nice baseball field i feel like everything oh it's a dead end everything we do i feel like we just like even out like we're never going to get above a certain amount of money. I don't know if we'll ever get back past that 250 mark without taking out a loan. Oh, and speaking of loans, check this out. So shift M or shift B. Well, crap. What did we make it? Uh, let's go in here. I might have forgot to turn it back on. Uh, let's go to key binds. Nope, that's in it. Keys. And it's down here at the bottom. It's called finances. Tow truck. Sell price trigger. Mobile workshop. Lumberjack. Uh see cultivator better contracts that is left shift plus m left shift m do i have to be out of my car there it is okay so this is what i was talking about i got it to work by the way um so this shows us our balance this is how much money we have all the way down to like i don't know why it goes down to that much right this is your actual account balance uh, this is how much capital. This is calculate. This calculate your capital. So this is if we took our all our land and put it together. That's how much capital that we have. And I think this includes vehicles as well. Equity loan ratio eighty percent. Value shows your current equity to loan ratio. Okay, we can change this. If we wanted to do a loan, we could do a two hundred thousand. Oh, that's what we have right now. Adjust account balance. Um, that I'll say it's right here your current credit upper limit so right now we could theoretically borrow three million dollars this is the least we can borrow uh, this is the upper limit so if we wanted we could set the boundaries of a, of a loan and go ahead and fulfill our dreams right away but I don't want to do that I would rather test the waters on this whole cotton thing and if it doesn't work out and then you know we'll we'll look at other avenues. The only other avenue I can think of would be uh, like like I said, corn. But um, I would prefer to do something other than corn because the corn harvesters are just as expensive to lease. And I don't think I didn't even look on this. Uh, so here is a lot. We should, that's even cheaper than what I bought. Um, I would not mind having this because I believe, um, no, this is, this is the medium tractor. I can't go higher than 348. That's a nice tractor though. How much is it? It's 55%. So that's a, let's take 130. It's a $260,000 tractor without options, but, uh, we'll wait. Hopefully a harvester pops up something useful. Um, but I, like I was going to say, I wouldn't mind doing a loan for a vehicle. I don't want to do it for the land. I want to. I want to do this correctly. Um, I'm actually going to. Let's see. Let's go ahead. Actually, it's not going to matter. I will just take this back to the place. I'd like to. Um, if it, if we stay with cotton, I'd like to buy the harvester or at least try to. Because I mean, if we do it twenty five thousand, it's per day. <laughs> so we would. 
Well, your dice will spin 20, or is that the upfront cost? Wait a second, wait, 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 wait. That's the upfront cost. What is it per day? If we click on this and we lease this, per day is $4,800. Okay, so the base cost, okay, so base cost per hour, uh, $4,800, okay. So let's say $5,000 per day, round it up, and it takes eight months so that's 40 grand that we'd have to make over the time span of a cotton harvest. So it might be better to lease it and just keep it. Hmm. Yeah, probably. Because I can make that. I mean, I haven't done any jobs. I did I did one small um, bowing job. That was about it over the winter time. I was more interested in... Um, and just making sure our sheep had food and watching the cotton and getting these bales over there and producing material and then sleeping. That's basically all we did. So that's exactly what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to sleep to the next day. Let's go ahead and sleep. And so we are going to be into the month of May and we should, oh, I was going to say, please God, don't let it be raining. We should have good weather to harvest the cotton, hopefully. All right, let's check. So you can see here, I got one, two, three and a half. So did they run out of food? What's going on here? Uh, animals. No, they're good. Um, so they, okay, so they've already reproduced. So that sucks. So we didn't get as much as I thought. Is this grass? I want to make sure the grass didn't turn into hay. No, it's grass still. Okay. I know when you play on seasons, I think the grass turns into hay after a while or it deteriorates. But I'm going to go ahead and give them some food. So let's grab one of these. This is still showing 7,500 liters. Okay, so you don't need to keep these in a building. I thought that you might have to. So let's put that there. They are up to almost 60,000 liters. That's cool. And let's uh, shift over to here. And is this ready to pick? No. Okay, so it's got one more stage. Crap. Uh, okay, so let's go over to... Uh, we're going to fast forward it anyways, but I did want to go over here and see how much how much of this stuff we got. So let me figure out what we're right here. Spinnery. Let's go around the corner and see how many pallets we have. So we have one, two, three. If I move this out, is it going to refill it? No. All right, that's fine. And has it produced everything that it can? <laughs> uh, yes. Okay, so that's all we can do. And then what is the price right now? If it's still pretty good, I might just go ahead and take these over there and sell them. Let's see. Fabric is at 5700 still, but it's going down. Uh, yeah, I'll probably take it over there because that's, that's like 20 grand right there. Um, actually, it's just right down the street, isn't it? I could just carry them over there. Let's go ahead and um, I'll take these over there and sell them and then um, I'll fast forward it and we'll go ahead and get the, the cotton harvester and I'll bring it back. All right, guys, I wanted to show you what was in the used car vehicles. This would be awesome to have. This is a half a million dollar. This is a half a million dollar vehicle. That would be awesome to have. And then this here would be nice, too. This is like 18,000 liters and it's only nine grand. I mean, it's almost worth buying that just to have it, but I don't. I don't know what I would use it for because I don't have anything to haul around right now. So yeah, I don't know what I'd use it for. So, but our cotton is ready. So let's go over to, um, actually, you know what? I need to go back to the building real quick. Actually, let's go here like this and then do this. All right, that removed it. And then we need to go over and buy, actually do that. Go ahead and lease this so we can turn the speed up on this thing i think i get the fastest it goes is 12 yeah that's fine i don't know what the liters is Twenty thousand liter bales okay so we need at least three bales <laughs> total to make this worth something all right so we'll set up i don't really care about that um gps um no i'm not going to do gps so let's lease it all right and then let's go grab it all right there it is it's beautiful it's a Case International, 635. It's one of the most expensive items in the game, other than this ridiculous, um, oh, that's herbicide right there, by the way. That's the leftover herbicide I had from spraying the wheel, the weeds in the field. I totally forgot that we had, uh, I left weeds on. Oh my God, is this gonna fit through here? I better. Yeah, I did, all right, good. So, but yeah, I forgot I left weeds on, which sucks. I didn't realize how big this thing was, look at this. Oh yeah, it's 
beautiful. Luckily, we haven't had any more rain, no more floods. That was amazing, wasn't it? Our yield potential, though, is 130 or 125 in some places. I think in the back, it's still down at like 100, 110. I think if I stand on the field, it's going to tell us what the potential yield is of the field. And we need it to be over 60. <laughs> We need it to be over 60 if we ever make it there. All right, we got it here. Uh, so the potential yield, uh, are you kidding me? 39,000, crap. All right, so hopefully we get more than that. Hopefully, this ain't worth it. I mean, it could be worth it, I guess. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. So let's turn this bad boy on and we'll see what we get. So you can already see we're in the green and I am going to do two headlands and then I am going to allow the computer to do the rest because I am going to go get the rest of our wool that came from our sheep and take it to the place so we can sell it or not sell it, but use it. And then um, we'll see how this goes. But so far it's looking pretty good. I mean, if we only get 40,000 it's 40,000 liters. We needed to make what? We needed to make 48,000 to basically break even. Now, I know we could make more on a bigger field. I get that. But on this field itself, that's, so that's the question. Do we do this again, keep the sheep, or do we not do it again and then make more sheep? Because we would make more wool. Or you, some of you are probably saying, we'll just keep both. <laughs> I could do that, but I need another field. And I don't have any income, so I need to... It's one or the other. I don't know how I got cotton in that little swath right there. I mean, I didn't think that was my property. Here, let's do like a little U-turn here and see if we can grab that. I don't want to waste anything. All right, let's let him do his thing. I am going to grab this and take it over there. I think we have too many, though. So we'll grab these and right, pull up. We can only take two more. I'll grab these. Take these over there. That's 6,000 more liters, which is actually only three pallets, I believe. The only thing we got to look at also, though, is I believe that the ratio from sheep's wool to linen is higher. I'm sorry, lower than the ratio of cotton wool to linen. So we might be if we can get the same amount, but it produces more because it's a, a field product, then it's it might be worth doing all cotton. And if that's the case, then I would probably sell uh, all the sheep, the farm, everything, and buy another field and plant cotton again. And just wait eight months. Just wait it out. So I dropped that off. We did have two more pallets that spawned. So they must have spawned after I picked up the other ones. Just a late spawn off. Uh, I think the place is up here on the right. Or it could be up here on the left. So yeah, it's right here. So we'll drop these off. This is going to be like, I don't know, 12000 more dollars. $11,000. I need to get my truck cleaned. They need to make car washes. I mean, I know they have the hoses and stuff. I'm just saying they should make a mod that you can drive through a car wash. All right, so that's 10000 Oh, also, if you look up there, we're getting a environmental score reward now. And that's because I took the time to make our fields look nice. And we put all the good stuff on it. I spent all that. That's why I didn't have any money like two episodes ago. It's because I spent all my money on lime and fertilizer. So we get, we're getting... I don't even know what the score is on that. On that, uh, Let's take a look real quick after this saves. Uh, our score is 70, so you can see right here we're getting a 6% bonus to everything we sell. So all this is good. Weed control is good. This will continue to go up. Actually, the field itself is 85, isn't it? So it's counting both of them then. It's counting our field and it's counting uh, the field that the uh, sheep are on. This is a nice looking field right here too. It's a nice big property. This is what I kind of want. It's just one gigantic big property that we can handle. It'd be nice to have all that. Oh my God, It'd be so nice. Now, I know we're aiming for uh, the whiskey farm, but I did want to show you guys one of the other farms that's available. And it's across from our farm, actually. And it's already got a vineyard. I think it's olives. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure it's olives. And I'll take you up there and show you. It's pretty cool. How's our guy doing? Has he popped out? Has he popped out of bail yet? No, he has not popped out of bail. Is he stuck? No, he's not stuck. Okay, good. So I'm going to park this here because I'm about to pick up his bail. So we'll leave that there. But it's this farm right here. Now this farm costs the exact same amount of money. It's 1.3 million, but it includes so freaking much. It's ridiculous. Like if we buy the property that we want, all we get is 
the <laughs> all we get is the whiskey machine that's basically it if we buy this farm we get that entire vineyard all of that all of those olives we get this entire area here so we get a silage bunker that's probably going to be pigs seeing how it's got a slurry machine right there and then we got chickens over here we have all these silos we'll have chickens we have a house we have a barn we got this gigantic building we got this <laughs> a whole entire greenhouse area and then i believe you also get that farm over there if i remember correctly so we're looking at this farm right here uh let's go into this and yeah you get all of this so we get all of this all of it <laughs> i didn't know that there was a little yeah there's a little piece here that you can't buy i wonder what that is Oh, that's the that's the hay building but yeah we could i mean that's you can see it's 1.3 million dollars but look how much you get I mean, it's freaking ridiculous and you get uh i'm guessing that this is must be horses oh, there's even more stables over here so there's pig pens more chickens i mean this is amazing another so this has got a manure so this is either going to be cows or chickens can i get into this <gasps> Oh my god, are you kidding me? Guys, this would be wonderful to have. I'm not kidding. So on this gigantic farm, we could make so much money. We could make so much money. Especially with the with the olives. Even though I hate olives. I like... Man, seriously. <laughs> seriously. Eh. There we go. Nothing to see here, guys. Just move on. All right. Uh all right, so it's been a day. I'm going to let the uh, cotton complete itself, and then I'll bring it back, and we'll we'll debate on what we want to do um, with our fields. So I'll be right back. All right, guys. So it is done. And as you can see, we have one bale, two bales. And I have 11,000 inside. So that's 40 plus 11. That's 51,000 liters, right? So if we do the math. I have a calculator here in front of me. Let's do this. Let's do the math. Let's do, let's say we have 51,000, all right? We divide that by five. And the only reason we do that is because for every five that we put in, we're going to get three out. So we're going to divide by five. That gives us 10, two, all right? So 10,000, um, all right. Yeah, so <laughs> if you take the, you take the 51,000, divided by five, and then multiply that by three, because that's how much the output's gonna be, we're gonna be at 30,600. So what that tells me though, is that we're gonna get a, we're gonna get at least 30,600 liters of linens uh, or fabric back out of this harvest. If we were to take 51,000 liters over there of sheep's wool at a two to one ratio we would only get 25,600 liters back so we're gaining uh 5,000 liters and if we go in here and we look at the price right this is per thousand so we take the 5,000 times 5,000 because that's how much we're gonna have 5,000 more produced that's a $25,000 profit over the same thing we would have gotten with the sheep I think that's a really good return in my opinion so I think that's what we're going to do and I'm not going to do it until the sheep actually get to the age where I can sell them at max profit uh, I do want to dump out this last bale and we'll take it over there if it will spit it out there we go so I am going to keep this machine and I'm just going to park it over here. It's going to close. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to park it over here. And then <sighs> I tell you what, guys, um, I might buy this property beside us. This one's cheaper than the one in the back. And then <clears throat> the only other thing, I know that the water doesn't affect us, but that entire backfield there floods. I'd rather have this one. And then we could possibly just join these two properties together. Not that we need to. Uh, but we could. So let's grab uh, the truck and we'll start taking those bales over there. Now, the other thing that I was looking at, oh God, I almost had another accident. Why does the sun look like that? Come on car, freaking move. The other thing I was thinking about is we could go ahead and take out a loan and buy this entire farm right here. That farm would keep us busy long enough to make enough profit to buy the farm up there. And 
the other thing that it would do, it would it would force us to have to pay off a loan, um, a pretty significant one. The only reason I'm saying that is because if you look right there, the little building that's right behind me that's coming out behind the tree, that is a wine processing plant. So we wouldn't have to buy a wine processing or an oil plant, I should say. It's not wine, it's oil. An oil processing plant for all those olives, which would be fantastic. Um, because that alone is like sixty, seventy thousand dollars, I believe. So that would save us that. That was the only concern I had about doing olives or sunflower oil or anything like that, is because we don't have the facility to do it. I don't know if this thing will pick up that bale or not. Um, I want to pick up this one actually. Will it pick it up? <laughs> will it? I don't think it will. <laughs> I think it's too big. <laughs> uh, loading area is full. What do you mean? Because that's on? Yeah. We're going to have to take this over like this. <laughs> Put this here. Like that. Oh my god. And then can we put this one on the car and take two over at the same time? <laughs> Big marshmallows. <laughs> Alright. I don't think that's going to work. Well, we shouldn't try that. This one's nearly falling off. So we'll put that on there. Let's get in here. And then, can I strap it in? It won't let me strap that in. All right, we're gonna take this over because this is the only thing I have to use to load these. Um, but yeah, we'll take these over. And what I was saying is I can go in, I can change the bank rate. So if we wanted to make it hard, right, on ourselves, even though it's already freaking set to hard mode, the current interest rate that the game uses is 4%. We could change that to like 5%, 6%. Uh, please don't. These cars are worse than the cars that are on uh, American Trucking Simulator. But at a 6% loan on a million and a half dollars, I mean, we wouldn't need to get that much. I wouldn't buy it right away. I would play around with this cotton for a couple seasons or maybe a, two seasons and just get some income coming in. But even at that, um, I think that that would give us enough to keep us busy with all the animals because it's got tons of animals. Uh, the chickens... And the sheep, I mean, really, if we wanted to, we could buy it first and find out how many sheep its pen holds. And then we might be able to ship our sheep over to that place. That would be a, a possibility if it holds more. If it doesn't hold more, then I'll just sell everything and then start from scratch. Uh, but yeah, I think that's what we want to do. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take all of these over there. And it's going to process. And then I'll bring you guys back next episode and kind of show you how much of the fabric we have done. And I'm going to go ahead and I don't know if I'm going to plow the field or not. Because really, if I sold all of the sheep in the, the property, that would give us close to 180000 And then the property that I'm currently on is about 180000 So that's $360,000. Um, did this not want to take this? Uh-oh. Oh, is it because it's latched in? Yeah, it is. Did, did it take it? <laughs> did it take it? Fabric cotton? It did. Awesome. All right, let's go ahead and activate. It is activated. Okay, so you can see five to three, and this one is two to one. So we do get just a little bit of a bonus, but it's enough bonus for me to say, yeah, that was worth it. That was worth it. All right, so I'm gonna get these other two bales, bring them over here. Next episode, we'll get our linens. I won't do anything until next episode anyways. I don't wanna go that way. And um, we'll make that decision. If you guys watch, uh, you let me know what you think I should do. Do you think I should, uh, do you think I should get the $1.3 million? And then, I mean, if we, if we sell our other properties, we're gonna get nearly 400,000 in that back so we'd only be 900 grand in the hole uh which would be nice but uh that would mean that we'd have to pay that off plus make another 1.3 million in order to buy the property on the hill so that's over two million dollars that's a lot of money even if you're playing in regular easy mode that's a lot of money to try to find but that's what makes it fun. So I will see you guys next episode. If you enjoyed this, make sure you click the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.